No, man, the robot got my order wrong. Are the waves matching? <laughs> are the crests aligning? Uh, me and Dan are at the beach right say, now. <laughs> say, <laughs> say, We're doing this one. Say crests align on three. We're doing this one on our, in our wetsuits. Four, three, crests align. At uh, San Leonardo Bernardino Cappuccino. Are, are people beach. ever like this? We're gonna we're gonna start the arm wrestling or whatever. We're gonna stick. We're gonna start it on three. All right, everybody ready? Let's let's start the count. Eight, six, seven, five. <laughs> <laughs> and then they start racing. And then the crowd's like three oh nine. That sounds great. And then there's some track runners going real fast. I like it. And then one guy's like, I don't know the song. I fucked up. <laughs> I, I went off at nine. I don't, I don't know the fucking song. <laughs> I went off at O. I'm going to lose. <laughs> no, Eric and I are discussing robots and fast food. This week we're discussing robots this week, and fast food. On Funny food. Dinner, we'll be discussing robots and fast food. No. And other topics. Because my such issue. Such as. I don't want to drink. Mouth chlamydia. Do you that? <laughs> we'll get to it okay. later tonight. Okay. <laughs> on okay. Funny Dinner. Okay. <laughs> Let's hope Eric remembers to pay that seed off. <laughs> Let's hope he remembers to pay for the seed, too. <laughs> hey, he's pal. In debt. And you <laughs> want to be in debt to those guys. Little Teddy is he's a real <laughs> child. Oh. No, man, because you get, because I go up in there like, what do you want to drink? I say, uh, Shamrock Shake. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you hack it at McDonald's when they're like confused about not wanting a drink on the combo. Yeah. You're like, well, fine, I'll get ice cream. I'll get a shamrock shake. <laughs> That's my thing, is I never want a drink, and they're like, I'll, so I'll just be like, just put in water. Because I don't want to waste the Pepsi supply. <laughs> Supply chain is yeah. devastated right now. I don't want to be one of those people who, in like a hundred years, are like, "God damn, we're out of Pepsi. If only we could have conserved it." And then I'm picturing me just th- th- washing, the Pepsi. washing my kids' hands with it. <laughs> I go, "Give me a large Pepsi, no ice." Kids, put your hands in here, scrub down, scrub up, <laughs> get ready. We're going to the doctors. Yeah, why don't they have stuff where, like... We're going to the doctors to get you unvaccinated. <laughs> yeah. Why don't they have stuff where you dip your hands in seasoning <laughs> and then eat? That is how you should eat, actually. Yeah. Like, all those cultures where they eat with their hands, they're really losing a lot yeah. of, like, potential there by not, like, being like... It's like, oh, well, I... Well, we s- also have, like, a bowl of Franks on the side. Why you should salt your cutting board. <laughs> Fuck that, man. Why you should cayenne pepper your fucking finger. <laughs> no, that is true though. Because like right now you're eating fries. Yeah. Imagine if you had a the ketchup dripping yeah, off ketchup your hand. My hand is all red. <laughs> all red. And then you'd know who was eating all your red, fries. All red. All red. <laughs> all red. Hell yeah. <laughs> hey, that's uh, Matthew McConaughey announcing the. Uh, I want to say 1980 election. <laughs> What one was it? Oh, no, 72. Yes. Nixon in a landslide. You got there. And we're looking at the states, and it's all red, all all red, red, all all red, red, all red, all red, all red, all red. red. He does it 50 times. (laughs) Yeah, like Matthew. I think he does it 49 times. Yeah, I think there was one. (laughs) George McGovern won one. Yeah, 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 everybody, you know, you deserve to get one state. Yeah, you won one. Lost his home state, but gained another one. Yeah. Crazy. I would lose my home state. I would lose my home and state. Is there too. ever a point you would have won your home state? Never. Yeah. I don't have. I, first of all, my home state is Illinois, a place I lived in for Illinois. two years as a toddler. Illinois is when you want to be like, <laughs> you're like, no, I'm famous. I'm from Illinois. Illinois. <laughs> and you're like, I was really hoping they would. <laughs> I was hoping you'd zone out. I was hoping a car would honk <laughs> after that first syllable. So hoping a fire truck would come by. Yeah. <laughs> this ain't no disco bar, honey. This is Illinois. This is Illinois. Illinois. So I forgot you're from Illinois. You could probably win Illinois just because you're corrupt. Yes. <laughs> You'd be up there. Man. It'd be you against some career politicians. <laughs> and he's like, no, I care about the children. And then you're like, look, pal, 
I used to pretend like I was selling Bibles to the blind for the blind in a bar. And that's going to be like the vibe I bring. <laughs> <laughs> like, quick vibe check. You used to help kids. I fucking stole a bunch of money from idiots <laughs> the, and used it to do cocaine. The whole debate so. is just them being like, wait, so did you question for Canada Sorgal? <laughs> so were there were any of them Bibles? Well, yeah, a couple. <laughs> <laughs> Duh. I had some laying around. That's how it started. But then you just start wrapping books up. And question for the incumbent governor. Listen, uh, I, could listen you I, know, I already know what you're going to ask. The size problem. You're not the incumbent I governor. Would just, I would just say it was only the New Testament when it was too small. That, you idiot. That is what my question for the incumbent governor was. <laughs> I was going to say, incumbent governor, could you ask candidate Sorrel? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. And now a our Q&A question. Be like, a Q&A with like a director and an actor and you just talk to the director like I have a question for the director um, I'm too nervous to talk to Brad Pitt can yeah. you ask him yeah. Brad Pitt and I are in a fight right now <laughs> can you ask him when a good time is for me to come pick my stuff up yeah. because I'm done with him yeah that happened with J- uh, Jason Sudeikis gonna get yeah, in touch with Olivia Wilde yeah. So that he, wasn't his fault. So he had no. I know that's funny. <laughs> People are like, "This family's having their drama spilled out in public." I'm like, "That's funny. That's very funny. <laughs> that's funny." <laughs> I also love that Olivia Wilde now is like, "I have to." She's like, "I have to pay for everything when the kids are with me. It's ridiculous." And Jason Jake is like, "I do the same thing, bitch." Like, we could fuck. get our kids jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Well, listen, all right, fine. Parents son... everywhere agree with Olivia Wilde and Jason Sudeikis. Finally, stands. our son will be best boy on my next movie. <laughs> he already is. <laughs> he's very qualified. That's... Can't we both agree that he's qualified? That's how that job started. <laughs> it was just some crazy as fucking Thomas Edison was like, and my nephew will be hired. He's the best boy. He's the best boy. And they put it in the credits. Nickelodeon picture. Yeah, and then <laughs> the next guy was like, all right, we're going to rip off Edison's thing. We need a producer, a director, whatever a best boy is. <laughs> <laughs> and then ever since they just because of one birthday present for like Edison's nephew <laughs> in that film about the horse. Yeah. It's about the horse. It's about the it's horse. It's about the horse. This time it's about the horse. <laughs> it's about the horse. Coming up. The horse. Yeah, like Western. what did they put for like in the when they printed like the what's Best this? Best horse. What's this movie? <laughs> it's the one where the train comes at you. What's it about? <laughs> the train's coming like, at what's you. What's the plot? <laughs> the train approaches. The train approaches. That's the script. Yeah. <laughs> this, oh no, the script leaked. <laughs> the 1905 blacklist for best unproduced screenplays. <laughs> the one where a man shakes another man's hand. The horse kicks. <laughs> <laughs> Galloper. <laughs> Boat and Creek. <laughs> And the award for 1902 best screenplay goes to Monkey <laughs> Eating. <laughs> <laughs> and then they fucking, you know, they come out. The <laughs> monkey's there. <laughs> Holding on to you, Ronald Reagan's It's neck. a monkey wearing a beret <laughs> and like a French scarf. <laughs> And he's grown a beard since then. <laughs> and then that got a big laugh. But you mentioned Indiana. Yeah. I learned about something today that I think maybe you know of from your obsession of TV of this era. Hmm. Um, have you ever heard of Armed and Famous? Yes. The uh, <laughs> the, the TV show. Where, where was that? That was in Indiana? It was in, Mu- it was in Muncie. Muncie. Oh, in Muncie. my God. Because my girlfriend's from Muncie. And she just, Your like, girlfriend's from Muncie? And I've learned to forgive her. Did but... she? <laughs> Why did she ever move? <laughs> Wait, when did she move? Did she, like, grew up there? No, she grew up in a town where moving to Muncie was like moving to the city. Anderson. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Your girlfriend's like my my options were move to Muncie or or become an MTV teen mom. <laughs> well, she moved there for school and then didn't graduate. 
Hell yeah. That uh, sounds like Ball State. Yeah, of course. She's like, David Letterman fucked me over. <laughs> he <laughs> said he was going to... screwed me. He said he was going to fucking give me some But we watched... Some I, was like, I was like, that's not a thing. I was like... <laughs> And then I looked at the no, cast. The cast list. is wild. It's like it's Trish Wee, it's, Stratus. It's Wee Man. That, of course, that's the first one you brought up because none of us knew who the fuck Eric that Estrada. was. Eric Estrada. Well, I <laughs> was going to name multiple. No, none of us knew who the fuck that person was. We were like, that's like Jessica Simpson, right? And, and it's like, no, <laughs> it's not. It's not. It is, but it's not. Like, <laughs> no, she, this girl could beat up Jessica Simpson. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, we finally watched. They, we finally got to the uh, the title reel in an episode. And realized that she was a WWE superstar. She's a superstar, Eric. Yeah. She's won the belt, what, three times, I believe, she said? <laughs> Way more now. Uh, I think I think I, she recently held the tag team champ, and she only lost it because that rascal Lita turned She's on still her. wrestling? She just came back, like, this past year. Okay. As, like, an old lady, like, I, I'm totally back for good. <laughs> only three months. I'm not going to make it very long. Parentheses, I'm coming back for three I'm gonna months. I'm going to be back for about two, as two long months. as Armed and Famous was on. Four <laughs> I'm, episodes. I'm going to be back for two months, and then... And uh, I'm going to promote a fitness DVD. <laughs> and then I'm going to have like a big retirement. But no, I loved it because we watched a clip and it's like when like they first like come in, like they're like the first interaction with like a police officer, like they're training. Oh my God. Wait, did you know this? Shortly after, so Trish Stratus got married. Yeah. And shortly after the wedding, Stratus got the call to be part of Armed and Famous. <laughs> so she filmed the show instead of going on her honeymoon. Hell Yeah. <laughs> That's badass. Imagine any scenario where you're going to Muncie instead of like you're Bora Bora, <laughs> like fucking the sandy the desert sand beaches of Aruba. The sand beaches of Aruba. I was right, man. Eric Estrada was in it. I just yeah, guessed I know that all the one. people. I just watched the show. Jack Osborne. Yeah. So you knew Latoya Jackson? I did. You weren't like, when did ET put on all that weight? <laughs> When did E.T. hit his growth spurt? <laughs> <laughs> but no. I like how in this bit, E.T. is a lady. And in the movie, E.T. is a lady. Yet you and I both misgender <laughs> I just said him. I did it again. It is impossible to, like, consciously remember that E.T. is a lady. I think it's because she's nude for so much of the film. Uh, that's true. And yeah. that wouldn't be allowed. Yeah. Not in a PG film like no. E.T. No, never. Never. But anyways, so they do they're doing like the orientation type thing and he goes he looks at Wee Man and he goes, Listen, I saw your film, Jackass, and honestly, I wasn't impressed. There and if you try and jackass around here, you're gonna find out that you're the jackass. Whoa. And like just and then then The off the Sarge said then, this to him? Then doesn't make fun of anyone else. And then <laughs> And then come. They just back. cut a bunch of he's like Trish Stratus. You might think you have the boobs, <laughs> but if you fuck around here, you're the, gonna be the boob. You're boobs. gonna be the boob. Latoya Jackson, <laughs> pass. <laughs> Latoya Jackson, you look like ET and you're trash. Latoya Jackson, famously the weirdest sibling from a family where one guy fucks kids and the other lady's nipple invented YouTube. <laughs> Eric Estrada. If I don't think... have a nose, and I famously maybe fuck kids. So this one's my weird sister. This is not weird. This is the wacky kid. This is the weird one of the family. <laughs> Anyways, here's my son blanket. No, they go on a call. And they have to knock on a door, and there's a cat in the house, and Latoya Jackson uh -oh. just runs away. <laughs> There's deleted footage of her just shooting towards the cat. <laughs> Not at it, but just towards it. The cat's behind a wall, and it's just shooting the wall. <laughs> so she just runs away, and she hides, and she sits in the cop car. And then you can tell... I, I love this on the Wikipedia page. The the sections are premise, reaction, lawsuit. No, lawsuit is the last one. 
suits. Suit, no, just one. <laughs> oh, okay. So Latoya Jackson's in the car. She's in the car, and you can tell. She's arrested a cat. You can tell. <laughs> no, she's scared. She's just alone. And you can tell that there's a moment where the producers go up to the woman who lives there and is like, pick up that cat and take it to Latoya Jackson's window. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to be on TV? <laughs> Do you want $25 American or $2,000 Muncie? <laughs> the inflation rate. <laughs> this is $600 Muncie. So, <laughs> just seven Arby's gift cards. It's just this woman in a bathroom. <laughs> Looks like you. Hell like, yeah. I would never have a cat outside. <laughs> If a cat's you know, living outside, I don't need they to were hold like, it. They were like, listen, will you take your tits out? We'd love to have, like, pixelated bars. Yeah. And she's like, no. So she's got it real tight, but she's clearly not wearing anything yeah. except the robe. And she's got the cat, and she's just standing by the window. She's like, it would be disrespectful to Officer Stratus <laughs> if I had my tits out. She's just, she's just holding the cat next to the window while Latoya Jackson has a panic attack. <laughs> It's like the most cruel thing. That's great. But it is fucking awesome. <laughs> and then they're trying to, they're learning how to defend their guns. And Eric Estrada is like, ret, like trying to keep his firearm secure while a guy is like trying to get it from him. Yeah. And he folds him up a little bit and he just farts. And then, <laughs> and then it just cuts to Wee Man laughing going, he fucking farted. <laughs> He farted, dude. <laughs> and then it, and then there's a scene where it's, it's after um, like a patrol. TV and, used to be so simple. I know. I know. Like I'm tired of watching Mr. Robot. Man, but, but they needed a better fixer for all because all these reality shows failed because eventually someone eventually got to the third section of the Wikipedia page yeah. where it says lawsuit. And they just had a better like guy in a suit that no yeah. one's ever heard of. They needed of who a fixes Mr. Wolf. It. Yeah, they exactly. Needed a Mr. Wolf for sure. All these. They shows. need a guy who's like two died in sumo suits at the. <laughs> Joe Schmo Show Mansion. Who cares? No one will hear about this. No one's going to find out. <laughs> Do you know how many people I've killed for Brett Michaels? <laughs> but they, uh, they're they like cut to Wee Man being like, after a long patrol shift, you got to wind down. And it's, yeah. and it's him at a bar, and my girlfriend is like, I know that place. I'm like, there's nine places in Muncie. You know to say, all of them. I probably know <laughs> she, that she place. Kept, she kept saying that. She was like, oh, I've driven by that house before. I'm like, you've driven by every house in Muncie. Was it the Rat Skeller? Uh, no, I, it's a place she said was closed. Be here so. now? No, I don't fucking know. It had a rodeo bull. But anyways. Rodeo it, bull? A bu- the, well, the bull riding machine. Oh, I thought you said <laughs> rodeo bull. I got excited, like barbecue beef, <laughs> potatoes, peppers, uh, Fr- but, um, deep fried onions. But yeah, it cuts to uh, Wee Man being like, I like to enforce the law, but I also like to break the law. Hell yeah. He's like, and if you want to get pulled over by Wee Man, just bust a taillight out. I'll come get you. Hell yeah. <laughs> Dude, that is awesome. He's hyping up. He's hyping. He's hyping up crime. He's doing promo for where he'll be. He's hyping up crime. No, he's like promoting as his a gig. Police officer. That's yeah, good, that's though. True, he's though, promoting yeah. his he's gig. Selling, he's selling tickets. Yeah, he is. <laughs> He's getting those tickets out there in people's hands. He's rocking it. He's doing a great job selling yeah. tickets. He's like that guy we saw at that open mic who was like, if y'all want to see me, I work second shift at the Cracker Barrel on Knoxville Pike. I just love the idea of someone just getting like beat up on the side of yeah. the street and being like, where's Wee Man? <laughs> No, that's our fun little movie. It's it's you and I, are two guys trying to get busted by Wee Man, but we end up just keep getting arrested by other cops in Muncie, and we don't even know who fucking Eric Estrada or Latoya or Jack Os. We know Jack Osborne. We just keep telling this guy that he looks like nerdy Jack Osborne. Yeah, man, he's like Jack Osborne if he was a fucking straight fucking weirdo, fucking normie Jack Osborne. Yeah. Anything to get us on the soup. Yeah. Anything to get me on the soup. (laughs) 
But no, Eric Estrada is arresting somebody at one point, and uh, the guy is like, I know you. From You're Chips. Punch. You're Ponch, baby. I'm getting arrested. He's like, I'm getting arrested by Ponch. <laughs> That's funny that they named him Pot. Like, his name was Ponch. <laughs> like, isn't that just a name like a fat belly? <laughs> well, it's Mexican Poncho. Oh. <laughs> you didn't realize the racist connotations. Of that yeah, no, in my mind, talking, it was just you? like you're watching a different 60s show and they're like, Officer Gooch. <laughs> 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 but yeah, he's getting arrested. <laughs> and then uh, the Eric Estrada is Mr. Like, Camel Toe, I presume. <laughs> Eric Estrada falls into like I'm crime. Meeting, he I, starts no. doing local crime. <laughs> no, he falls into I'm meeting a fan energy <laughs> oh, for a minute, yeah. and is like, "Thank you, thank you very much. I really appreciate that." <laughs> he's <laughs> in the mugshot photo with the guy doing like it a, was a, it was a smile to be a part of it. And then he's like handcuffing the guy, and he tries to go back into cop, and he can't do it. He's like, "It's like you're under arrest for um, uh, threatening uh, dan- uh, threatening danger upon a woman." Like he's just like <laughs> making shit up. Like he clearly can't name the crime that he's arresting this guy. You want to threaten danger on a woman? <laughs> so tell me about the lawsuit. I just like this. Uh oh wait never mind. armed and it was pulled from CBS after like a uh, uh, two episodes. Well, it only ran four. So <laughs> where did say. it get? Who pulled it? It was pulled. Well, no, there's six episodes. It was pulled after two. Well, there's only four on YouTube. And then uh uh, it was revealed that Armed and Famous would debut. This is what threw me off because I, I the <laughs> debut thing is what I saw first, so I, I missed the first part. And so after the first episode were pulled from CBS, it, the rest <laughs> debuted on VH1 Saturday, February 3rd at 5 p.m. <laughs> That's like the worst <laughs> time for a show to be on the we air. made a marathon. <laughs> <laughs> they did. They debuted it in a Saturday marathon. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, they never, the last three episodes just never got out there, I guess. Man. Yeah. Dude, this no, is it's, great. It's, so, its air date to its cancellation date is hilarious. It's like, what, like a week? It's like, it's like well, I don't oh, know, it's two weeks, you're right. Yeah. It literally is. <laughs> it's insane. It's, it's January 10th, 2007. And I can't wait to finally be famous enough to meet Wee Man and then have that be like my Nardwar thing where I'm like, so armed and famous. <laughs> and he's like, you watch that shit. <laughs> I got you a Jack Osborne <laughs> action figure. I got you a tr- uh, Trisha Star or whatever is the this, hell her name is. Is this Trish Stratus's uh, tag team belt? <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay Clements with uh, two Y's in her first name. Great. Where you think? How do you think it's spelled? Two Y's in her first name, and yeah. it's Lindsay. I guess they're both at the end. <laughs> I don't know where How else. that works? Oh, wait, no. How would do it do you mean just like Y Y? Yeah, sure. You can't but do that. L Y N D S A Y. Yes, you're right. You can put two at the end. You Lindsay. Or, you handle that like a man who's meta Lindsay. <laughs> uh, probably yeah. <laughs> she was twenty two and she filed the lawsuit claiming that her home was wrongfully entered and she was questioned about people she did not know. She claims the search was illegal and excessive, which, I mean, illegal is one thing. <laughs> excessive? <laughs> this search was excessive. <laughs> sure, they had a warrant, but come on. Come on. <laughs> Every page of a book. You're going to rip the carpet up? <laughs> this is excessive. Uh, footage appeared January 11th on the show. I love how there's two episodes, and it's like... <laughs> they already got sued. <laughs> <laughs> On the January 11th show included scenes showing police outside Clement's apartment, police rushing in, and then someone in handcuffs. <laughs> someone. <laughs> Clements acknowledged that Latoya Jackson and Jack Osborne were involved. She acknowledged. <laughs> were involved. <laughs> she acknowledged that they were involved. I can't speak on this time, but uh, I will. I will, igno- say, I will, I will say. acknowledge the fact that Latoya Jackson <laughs> and Jack a- Osborne were present my, on the my scene. two clients. <laughs> I'm a lawyer who represents two celebrity clients. What the fuck? Oh. 
I clicked on the the citation for the crime, and it just took me to some guy's law blog called The Agitator. <laughs> the Agitator. A- agitator. And it's on the agitator. it's on the way back machine, which isn't good. That's not good. It's not good when the lawyer who got, <laughs> has deleted who got Jack Osborne off <laughs> has deleted his successes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is the Cato Institute? <laughs> not at anything good. That guy's a fucking, like, ninja. This is how you know this guy sucks. Radley Balco continues to write about the criminal justice system in the country, the war on drugs, <laughs> <laughs> and occasionally blogs about culture and music of Nashville. <laughs> cool. I write about fucking, did you know the Hearst Company wouldn't let because of paper? Also, Brad Paisley's new album. <laughs> yeah, also... <laughs> Fucking man, in, in in South America, they drew coca leaves. <laughs> <laughs> the worst guy ever. <laughs> Some guy with a ponytail who's like, my clients, Latoya <laughs> and Jack Osborne. <laughs> we'll see to it that our clients are riding high again. And then he turns to Latoya and he goes, don't worry, I'll think of one for your family. <laughs> this case is off the wall. There you go. See, I got it. I did both. Why didn't he get hired me? <laughs> I'm the king. <laughs> uh, Man, this sucks. It says Trish, so what is the lawsuit about? I don't understand. Just that some lady, there's no crime, and they just bust into a lady's house. <laughs> so and Latoya and Jackson and just kicks your door down? Yeah. I'm with television. <laughs> I'm with TV. <laughs> I'm here with CBS. <laughs> We're here for the stoke for the scoop. <laughs> and then and then there's nothing to happen, I guess. And then on the way they ed- decided to edit that mistake. Yeah. It was, uh, <laughs> yeah. Why keep that in the show? <laughs> well, they were like, we'll fix it. We'll just put a lady in handcuffs and <laughs> make it look like it's the lady who lived here. And yeah. then people, as you said, in Muncie, a town of seven. <laughs> We'll go, hey, that's Beth's house. The fuck? They arrested Beth. Latoya got Beth. <laughs> and we were watching the, like, the, like, sort of like an intro thing that they do. Do you think where... they deposed Wee Man? And then they were like, we'd like you to bring Wee Man to the stand. And then they're like, Your Honor, he's. He's there. He's there. Can we get a few more? Uh, you just see a hand <laughs> pop hand up. Pops up on the bench. <laughs> can we get a? Can the bailiff sit on the stand? Can the, can, <laughs> Wee Man a, can sit can on his lap. Can we swear him in by him sitting on a few Bibles? <laughs> <laughs> get some of the spare swearing in Bibles. I know we've got the fucking Baha'i faith text and much other shit. <laughs> Stack them up. <laughs> So we can have Mr. Akuna. May I borrow your briefcase? Yeah. May the May the defense borrow the prosecution's briefcase so our witness can be seen. Do you think we man? Because he's we man. Do you think when he started as like a teen stunt yeah. guy, he went by like Lil Wee? Lil Wee. <laughs> Lil Wee. Of course he did. <laughs> He did. Little Wee. He's gonna call himself. It'd be funny if he got fat and then you'd be like, TMZ. You know what's funny? Not watching, so little Wee Man. You know what's funny is watching Wee Man try to chase down a criminal. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you that much. That's funny. This whole show is confusing. Because <laughs> it's like we have a fake cop who's old, so he's not gonna be much help. We've yeah. got a little, a, 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 a wild rock star's son. <laughs> A crazy guy who's down to do anything. Yeah, a boring. But he's a little man. A boring drug addict. A midget. A midget. <laughs> a fake cop and a fake athlete. No, and then they're like, "Don't worry, we'll get you a state of the art, a famous athlete." <laughs> parentheses woman. Parentheses scripted. <laughs> Citation needed. <laughs> It's like, is this really the best we... Is this the best really? Muncie deserves? <laughs> That's surely Muncie deserves. Also, I think somewhere on there... You it, couldn't get an aggressive criminal rapper? <laughs> that would have been great. Yeah. Some guy from... an uh, aggressive criminal rapper and someone who's known for crowd work? That would have been cool. <laughs> that would have been awesome. Yeah. Armed and Famous too. It's fucking Stavros Alkis. <laughs> it's a little Uzi Vert. <laughs> Lil Wayne. <laughs> Lil and Wayne's yelling. Stavros. Yeah. Uh, and they're on the beat in fucking Dallas. Trish Stratus. 
No, that show is uh, it's incredible. How is she? Is she a good cop? She seems like she'd probably be the best out of the crew. Uh, yeah, she was the one who got tased and was like, "Fuck it, that's fine." She's like, "I'll t- tase me in the tit," and then she winks and she's like, "They're fake." Uh, <laughs> I feel nothing right now. Got nothing here. <laughs> I feel nothing. Sure, the fish inside are getting a little fried, but uh, yeah. Because she's and got the sergeant the fish. right before he tases Wee Man. He's like, "All right, jackass." <laughs> <laughs> we man's like, can we double shoot this? <laughs> do you mind? Does C- can CBS afford the rights to uh, Civilizations Dying by the Zero Boys or any other '80s hardcore music we could put behind this? Because then I can get. I also want MTV this... can go halfsies on this. Also, I want to do this for a CKY video. Yeah, <laughs> can I kick flip over me? And then can you get like the rights to a Violent Femme song? <laughs> I just love the cop just hated Wee Man so much. That cop sounds like a dick. Like, well, of course he was a dick. He's a cop. Hey, man, not all cops are. Ba- oh, wait, yeah, never mind. She's I forgot the the phrase. All cops are bad. You know what's great? Is I would be in like the middle of the jungle in Costa Rica, and it's like we're like hiking, and it's like we're like an hour from shit. And it's like, oh, man, we shouldn't have done this hike. <laughs> this is exhausting. And then you just see graffiti on a sign that's just like, hey, cab. <laughs> It's like, your country doesn't even have a military. <laughs> like, the fuck? Poser. I'm in the middle of the jungle, and you're like, hey, cat, man. Like, what? All, did you get pulled over for hiking too fast? All chimpanzees are bastards? Yeah. Like, did you get pulled over for hiking too fast? <laughs> like, what crime were you committing in the rain for? You're like, hey, you can't bring the dry food in here. Uh, dried fruit. Do you want uh so uh, you want a dehydrated mango? No, tell me more about armed and fabulous. <laughs> armed and fabulous. <laughs> what is that? That's something. No, during like Armed the... and Fabulous has to be something. Sure. Um it's probably an erotic novel. Oh, it is the sequel to Miss Congeniality. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was at work last night. You know it's wild? And that came before Armed and Famous. <laughs> Armed and Famous is possibly a play on Miss Congeniality 2, Armed That's and true. Fabulous. No, I was at work last night, and everybody came in, and they were wearing, like, very, like, frilly things, you know, with, like, the little... <laughs> I have no idea what that means. Like, the trimmy, like, the trimmy stuff, you know, like, little tiny like little... strand, Tiny little, like, strands that hang. Fringe. Fringe, yeah, fringe. That's the word. A whole group of people with fringe? Not a whole group, but just a di- different people. Oh, okay. Different groups. People fringe is in style. And, uh... Fringe is back is what you're saying. And I asked my I asked my friend, I was like, I've seen a lot of fringe. And he was like, yeah, I'm going to see what's going on at that this music venue that's right up the street. And I was like, I bet it's Orville Peck. And then as I was saying that, he just turned his phone around and it was like, Orville Peck tonight. <laughs> a lot of people with fringe, that makes sense. <laughs> hey, man, Kentucky's a fringe state because we got fucking the guy who made Jimi Hendrix and Macho Man Randy Savage's We've clothes. got it all. That guy's from Kentucky. I didn't know that. Yeah, there's some weird documentary that I can never find <laughs> that's about him. But anyways, armed and famous. Yeah. There's a great uh there's a great moment where they like in like sort of the intro where the uh the limousine that they all arrive into town, they drive together in a limousine from Los Angeles, I assume. Into Muncie. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> and they get it they're getting a police escort. They probably never And mind. they pull up onto the curb and like get, start getting out of the car and you can see a, a cop has like his hands on his hips and is like these yeah. Hollywood folk. Yeah, they can't they're never be gonna cops. make it. But while they're driving there, it just keeps cutting to people who are like raking their lawn and like, <laughs> and, like looking up being like, Who? Oh, Muncie oh. stuff. And someone and it's like two guys who are like, Who is that? And the other guy's like, I don't know. Classic Muncie stuff. <laughs> fucking it's a small town with a college. My girlfriend, like it's literally a college town. Yeah. My girlfriend was like, "Who the fuck are those people?" I was like, "Literally just people." Yeah, like, they just found like they got people. <laughs> like literally people. <laughs> That's how people talk. Whoa, who are those folks? <laughs> 
Who were they though? Then they had to make new cops. And then then they. So does Muncie just have more cops. cops, or is the premise that Muncie doesn't have enough cops? Yeah, apparently Muncie, yeah, they're like there's a shortage. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> so what's, we're the, gonna send, what's the premise? There's a shortage, so listen, we're gonna send Wee Man. They're like That's this. Funny. This sucks. <laughs> we had a normal amount of cops, and then now also we have celebrity cops, <laughs> which takes even longer because they fucking you have to sign a release. And they run away from cats. <laughs> yeah. Can't be around a cat driving in Muncie. He sucks. <laughs> Wee Man keeps telling people to knock their taillights out so no one can signal. Wee Man keeps thinking that cars are going faster than they are because he's low. <laughs> so the speedometer, because of the angle, because yeah. the needle is off of the thing. Yeah. It looks different. The angle when you're low it looks yeah. different. It looks like they're going 75 yeah. miles an hour. He's like, hey. Whoa. <laughs> Did you know how fast we're going now? It looks like 15. And he's just stopped. <laughs> I think it would work the opposite way. Well, uh, well I don't know, because it's a circle. Like many things, it's a flat circle. <laughs> time is a flat circle, man. Yeah. Oh, no. I mean, it's amazing. I want to watch all of it. I want to see... I mean, I watched them all get tased. Wee Man didn't handle it very well, which is out of character. Although that is maybe, weird. I think he probably fell into jackass behavior, where he's like, I should probably overact. He's like, I've never done like this not drunk and high on pain pills. <laughs> Steve O's like was Steve O was a good guy. He didn't get into any of that. You mean what? I said Steve O, but I meant Weeb. I was I was so confused. <laughs> I was like, I was like, what? I saw the look of confusion. On your face the most and I famous. I made a mistake somewhere in that state. One of the most famous <laughs> drug abusing individuals. Literally the man most embodied by the thing I just said. <laughs> where a man doing prank videos drunk and high to numb himself. No. Wee Man never really got into any of that shit, though. Yeah. He was a good boy. You know, Mike Tyson never bit a guy's ear off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm realizing now it's something I said. Must I'm be sorry. Correct. I meant George Foreman. <laughs> something I said must I, have been I meant incorrect. George Foreman. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm what realizing else. now. <laughs> uh, is the president ever like that? He's like, I'm realizing now that I said invade, uh, <laughs> invade China. I meant Japan. I meant Japan. Now I understand your confusion. I get. I, I get why everyone's so mad. I now. get why everyone freaked out. I get why everyone got so mad. <laughs> it's a little slip of the tongue. It happens. Yeah. Okay. You got a lot of. Oh, those are just quarters. I was watching. You know what I was watching the other day? A thing about what if. Uh, or I wasn't watching, I was thinking about it, so watching a different thing. Yeah. Remember the axis of evil? Yes. Japan, Germany, Italy. Imagine if they had also had Voldemort <laughs> from Harry Potter, the Dark Wizard. I don't, I, listen, it's transphobic. I don't like even, that at all. It's transphobic. That's why it would even, be so scary. It's transphobic <laughs> to even say his name. That's why it's so <laughs> scary. <laughs> To think of that <laughs> these days it is a, and now you're not allowed to say Voldemort's name yeah. for a different reason you're not allowed to do it's anything. just like Harry Potter yeah Harry Potter fans should appreciate that that saying Voldemort's name is now like how it was in Harry Potter Harry Potter you're not supposed to say it you're supposed to go oh I read Aragon when I was a kid not Harry Potter <laughs> I read How to Get Chicks for Dummies. <laughs> was My brother gave it to me as a gag gift. I was reading Pussy 101. <laughs> <laughs> I think I do own How to Talk to Girls for Dummies. Never quite finished that Never one. Never quite finished that <laughs> Never one. Never quite got around to that one. Hey, I'm doing all right still. But hey, I've read that Bukowski poem <laughs> I, book. I, I have actually, I wrote things down for this one. What do you have written down? There were a few things that I wanted to, I've been, uh... Just some problems with you that I wanted to talk about. No. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got banned from... I got hacked on Facebook. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Yeah, I got a message from you this morning at 11, which should have been the red flag. <laughs> what did I say to you? It didn't say, I'm on the way to court. So I was like, why are we to be up? Uh, what the fuck? I'm going to be at 11 a.m. <laughs> it didn't say, I can't sleep. <laughs> so I was like, well, it didn't why? say, I can't sleep in a winky place. <laughs> why would Eric be up at 11 a.m.? <laughs> no, it said, uh, can, can I... Can you do me a favor? Can you do me a favor? Yeah, that's how I got wrangled. You got hacked by yourself? No, yes. <laughs> you got a text from yourself that was like, can you do me a favor? And you're like, sure. Of course, anything for, for once you. in my life, I'll do something good for myself. <laughs> 
I've been waiting for this moment. <laughs> well, generally my habit. Tell me what to do. I've wanted to do myself a favor for so long. <laughs> generally my instincts would to be do. do the opposite of helping myself. <laughs> no, I got a message from an all outer. Because the public should know. If well. you get hacked, the public should know. Um, uh, Hillary Boston sent Hillary me a Boston. message, and I had you just fucking been, dork. And I had just been messaging her recently about that open mic. Yeah. And so she said, "Hey, can you do me a favor?" And I was like, "I was like, yeah, sure. What's going on?" And uh, I thought she was gonna ask me to like share, be like, "Can you share like a thing for the open mic yeah. or something?" You know. Um, but she was like, I got locked out of my Facebook. She's talking to me on Facebook. First big red flag I ignored. <laughs> oh. So you didn't, you fell for that, the old, I, I need to send someone a code. No, she said, she um, she was like, I, I don't even know how she did it. Now I can't look at it anymore. But um, she was like, yeah, just like, she didn't ask for my email or my phone number. She was just like, uh, she was like, you'll get, uh, you'll get a Facebook message that has uh, like a reset code on it. Can you just send yeah. me a screenshot of send it? Send me the reset code. And uh, I did. And then my Facebook was immediately like, someone is trying to log into your account. <laughs> <laughs> and then you were like, yeah, idiots, I am. I'm, I'm using Facebook. I'm, I'm already on it. Why are you, you even, dummies. You idiot. A little late for that one. Okay. No, my Facebook, because Facebook knows everything about you. So I think they sent me a message like way sooner than they would have sent other people because yeah. they're like, this guy <coughs> does not buy new shit very often. This guy, <laughs> He's not logging into a weird place on Facebook. This guy's not trying to sell puppies. Uh, that was my favorite thing was when Hillary was hacked at one point, she posted a thing that was like, I bought this MacBook Pro for my daughter for college, and she died. And now it's like, now it's like 25. It yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, her photo's clearly a person who's young. But yeah, that was Thursday, and today's Sunday, and it took until today for it to finally actually happen. Which, like, I got hacked by a lazy hacker. Yeah. Like, they were like, I'll get to that one later. No, they were laying low. They were doing what's smart. They're like, I Facebook guess. will never expect it. But yeah, no, and then I tried to I tried to fix it, but you know it's on and on. Like they were like, we'll send a text to this number six one five four one four seven three eight nine. Well, I and believed I was like, it well, because don't do that. I believed it because it was like I need two hundred dollars. Yeah, and then in my mind I was like, well, oh, I'm is gonna, that what I also said? I'm gonna to you? I'm gonna see you in three hours, <laughs> and I was like, well, Just that is wait. that is very Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Someone going, I need $200. I can pay you back tomorrow. Did I, did I really ask you for $200? Yeah. And then I went, I went. What, can I give it to you in cash? And then it went, uh, no, do Facebook pay. <laughs> and then I went, I went, Facebook pay sucks, man. I'll do cash or Zelle. And then it went, Zelle okay. And then it sent me a, it sent me a phone number of like uh, like a Western Kentucky area code. No, the best. Thing and two hundred dollars later, I was like, "This seems fishy." I was, <laughs> I, was, I, was, I said, "Does this look weird? Will you log into mine and tell me?" I said, "Hey, man, I'm not dealing with this. You just log into my Facebook and send yourself some send money. Send yourself some money when I see you. <laughs> Listen, we'll get around to it, buddy. What's yeah. the rush? Yeah. I'll just send you my info. <laughs> there should just be a card, like America has a card, where it's like if you if you think you're getting scammed." Just tell them this card info. Yeah. And then it's just nothing. And then we'll arrest them. No, not even that. Just like it, 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 nothing happens. Oh, okay. But then so if it's like, if you're like dealing with a scammer, you're like, sure, here's my card info. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work. Doesn't work. No, I got, I, the best thing was like, uh reading it back to my girlfriend and just her being like, you are a moron. Because I didn't realize at the time how many typos were in Oh, the typo the thing's wild. <laughs> but everyone does typos. I was like, I don't know. I was like... But yeah, That's no. how you know it's a human, man, is the typos. Exactly. They're doing it on purpose. Although a robot just heard me say that. Yeah, and now they're going to be like, well, now I have to do more typos. Yeah. It will be all typos. 
You won't be able to and read robots shit are just anymore. Gonna send us gibberish. <laughs> robots are just be like, <laughs> <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger and Fred. <laughs> then they'll get sued by Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna be. Off. I think I'm off social media now because I can't remember my Instagram uh, login, and I, I I didn't have Instagram on my phone. It's all your Instagram's also hacked. Is it? Either that or uh, did you need a favor? Because <laughs> I did send those pictures. Well, no, I did. You also asked me to send you a, fa- a favor. Send you a favor. <laughs> a Can you please send me a favor? <laughs> I am Eric. And Eric is spelled wrong. They got to throw a K at the end. <laughs> a and a K. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, now that I'm scrolling through it, it is weird that it's... Because you don't often end every sentence with dot India. <laughs> dot India dot com. Dot India dot, dot India dot India. Dot India dot com dot TXT. It was not, not dot com. Dot com's America. USA. <laughs> dot gov. Uh, that would be smart if you like made a website that was like where it's safe to travel dot gov and then people are like oh it's probably the american government and you're like yeah. no we're the iranian government no we're the iranian government <laughs> we, and we say it's great to people come here. don't realize that every every government has access <laughs> to dot gov to here <laughs> dot gov's universal no but after i sent the last message like uh i i realized what had probably just happened i mean, <laughs> <laughs> I was at the very, I was like at the, I'd already done it. And I was like, well, there's no. that moment where you feel so special where you're like, hey, I'm, this person who I'm like sort of friends with is counting on me. I'm going I'm to be a good guy. I'm going to help him out. Yeah. I'm going to be a good guy. I'm going to help out this person who this. like, I, I'm not even close with this person. <laughs> they're asking and they're asking me. me? Um, I'm going to be a good guy. But uh, I will I, pay for uh, photos of. <laughs> wait a second. Wait. Uh, dot India. Uh, dot co- Oh no! I sent. I hit send. I hit send already. <laughs> no. But I sent them a message and I was like, by the way, if this I'm I by the way if this isn't you and I'm getting locked out of Facebook after this, I really don't care. Thank you for making me get on Instagram. <laughs> I really don't care. I love you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Who is this really? <laughs> Who is this really? I want to meet you. I know this isn't Hiller anymore. And whoever you are, I just want you to know I love you. I love you. I love you so much. I love you. I've never felt this way about anyone. I married the spam bot who took over Hillary Boston's Facebook account. We're having kids. And we're having children. Man, that would be cool. Having kids? No, being you a could do it right bot. now. Go fuck your girlfriend real quick. I'll I'm wait. gonna do. I'm gonna start like getting hacked. I'm gonna into start a... fucking my girlfriend. <laughs> Maybe I don't know about that. <laughs> I mean, I got a busy week. <laughs> I think I might start fucking my girlfriend. I'm gonna start hacking into uh, people's Facebooks and stuff. Oh, also the thing that I've been thinking of is how many people are gonna get a message from me and be like, he's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> Some comic this and fucking great like some for your comic branding. In North Carolina yeah. is gonna be like, holy shit! This is gonna be awesome for your branding. <laughs> you are like, oh, Eric's out there and he needs help. Well, <laughs> I am old now. Since I turned thirty, I am old. So it makes sense that my Facebook got hacked because I don't understand how technology yeah. works. It's like I started listening to a lot of Jimmy Buffett. Started golfing. Did you really? I did. And I what found- kind of Buffett? Uh, all of it, and I found something in my pocket uh, yesterday. That it's I, a receipt for extra pickle that I had, <laughs> at a margarita bar. That I had forgotten that um, I had ripped out of a Leo and put in my. Do you think pocket. that's real? Do you think? Do you think it's coming to town? It's perfect timing. For Whoa! Me. Oh my God! Wait, this 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 gets way worse as you keep reading it. <laughs> So Eric handed me. It, it, I got excited because it's a beautiful beach like looking thing. I was like, "Oh goddamn!" And Louisville ain't no beach, baby. No. So that means someone's bringing the beach to us. And you see Jimmy Buffett's Escape to Margaritaville, and you're like, "Fuck yeah!" And then you look at you look at you're like Derby. Yep, that's the city. It's here. 
And then you see now playing through May 14th. You're like, well, that's a long residency for Jimmy, Jimmy Buffett. Buffett. And then you read Derby Dinner Playhouse. <laughs> And you're like, well, that's pretty small. Man, you know, I guess he's doing a residency. <laughs> he likes to do small yeah. rooms for a longer amount yeah. of time. A Broadway musical comedy featuring original songs. <laughs> why? By, by from who? <laughs> also, why? Original by Jimmy Buffett. Original from the fucking. Original for Escape to Margaritaville. It's true. It is confusing. <laughs> and your most loved Jimmy Buffett class. Which just means that it Which answers with... the question about the, <laughs> the original part. But are the original songs originals of Jimmy Buffett? So, yeah, exactly. Are they only in the show? So now I'm like, I don't know about this. But then the last sentence, which is its own sentence, says that this is the party you've been waiting for. <laughs> Exclamation point. <laughs> So maybe we should get tickets. Oh, I'm going. The baby. only indication on how to get tickets is <laughs> the website for the Derby Dinner Theater itself. That's fine. Derbydinner.com. That's fine. Slash a phone number. <laughs> That's fine. You know how everyone likes to order tickets by phone? <laughs> The, the most logical way, because that's how you and the other person can confirm with each other. I remember. <laughs> nothing, more, nothing more confirmed than a person on another end of a phone going, yep. <laughs> no, I totally wrote that down. Did you I, I also write that down? I've got it. I've got it. <laughs> Have you got it? Well, that's a perfect crowd to go. I've got it. If too. you need any more info, just go to our. Just go to the internet. Go on the internet <laughs> <laughs> and just yell. Derby it might dinner as, it might as well. Derbydinner dot com. It might as well just say, be like, Google, Google it, it. Bitch. <laughs> Google some of these words. <laughs> Choose which words to Google. Yeah, I'm sure if you just put in Jimmy Buffett Louisville, it'll pop up. Who if, Do you think it's at least catered by a Margaritaville? Because <laughs> it is a dinner theater. Uh, oh, yeah, you're right. It yeah. is, I didn't even think about that. It's just shitty burgers. Oh, it's going to be bad. And everyone's going to have the same. I, I think everyone. It's probably we're awkward. We're all going to file out. And like as like the lights come up, every man is gonna look over at his girlfriend and go, "That was hardly a cheeseburger in paradise." In unison, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> My big unison. moment is when the server comes around and asks how I want the burger, and then I go, "I want mine <laughs> with lettuce and tomato." Not. And then every three minutes, you hear someone else say that. Doing that, yeah. yeah. Well, I was thinking that like def- definitely, there's gonna have to be someone who comes out at the beginning and goes. Listen, we don't take requests. <laughs> Listen. This is a planned theatrical event. <laughs> this you is a Broadway musical comedy. You can't just keep yelling cheeseburger in paradise. You know we're going to play it. Just wait a minute. I love how it's Broadway. It's a Broadway <laughs> musical comedy. Yeah, has any, has any version of <laughs> Escape yes. to Margaritaville yes. ever been on Broadway? Yes. With Jimmy. Yes. Who played well, Jimmy? Well, I don't think Jimmy... I don't... That's the other thing is, like, is Jimmy going to be a character? Oh. <laughs> like, I would love that. I don't quite understand... But, no, I read You're a, just on uh, Tinder and you're like... I read a piece... Oh, hey, Jeremy, what are you doing in town? <laughs> oh, I'm an actor. I'm in town playing Jimmy Buffett and Escape to Margarita. How are you though? playing him? What's the scam? <laughs> <laughs> It sounds like he's playing the Derby Dinner. It sounds like the Derby Dinner Playhouse is playing all of us. That's why it's called the Playhouse. You play around. Might as well be the Derby Dinner Scammery. <laughs> <laughs> Next week we have Wicked. <laughs> you go there and it's, it's about skateboarding. It's just four Boston guys <laughs> fucking telling you cool shit. Yeah. Take like the vagina monologues with Boston. <clears throat> no, but I read um, I read a delightful piece in the New York Times about Jimmy Buffett's uh, Broadway musical. Did you really? I did. did you actually? Yes. Is it called Escape to Margaritaville? Yeah, I'm sure it's the same. I don't remember. It was a while ago. So you I took this it. because it went from Broadway and now it's gotten to Derby Dinner Playhouse. So that article was a fucking while ago, dude. <laughs> no, it's the opposite. <laughs> 
That article is about the grassroots rise. It's about Jimmy Buffett's fi- finishing some small town bookings, and then he's he's getting into the theaters. Um, but yeah, no, because I I just remember that it had like a sentence in it where they were like. Buffett still enjoys his signature margaritas, although although now he enjoys them with no salt. Got to watch his sodium. Salt shaker in there. <laughs> Wait, what's... I think that's Florida sober. Is no salt on your margarita? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, well, listen, buddy, I'm not trying to get too wild. <laughs> I like a little salt on my margarita. I don't get it. Brings out the flavor of the basil. It's fine. I'm talking pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking pizza. Uh, no, man, but salt, I, I love, I'd love, I, this is, you sound like a joke, which is good because it got me podcast. Please make everything salt. I like love joke. the salt on the rim of a margarita. <laughs> When I was a kid, I would steal it off my mom's margarita, and then she'd have to be like, stop doing that. <laughs> it's for me. Yeah. I'd just take my finger and, like, swipe the side of the margarita. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? I love the salt on the on the rim. So you just like rock salt? But a little bit of lemon, lime. lime. Yeah, because you put it around the rim. I said lemon by accident, so then I said lime twice. Hey, man, a great margarita out. has lemon and lime. That's why margarita. I said lime twice to even it out. <laughs> Two limes, one lemon. One time I was at this place that no longer exists in town, uh, and I was like, can I get a non-alcoholic margarita? Is that like even possible? Uh, and they were like, yeah. And then the guy gave me a uh, margarita. <laughs> no, he gave me the worst tasting beverage I've ever had in my life. Well, yeah, it would just be syrup and sugar. Yeah. And, and like lemon. You and nailed lemon it. And lime juice. You nailed it. <laughs> and sour. You nailed it. <laughs> I think it was like, what, triple sec? Yeah, and then like triple s- sec. slime. I guess triple sec is probably like technically not. It's like how N.A. beer is. In yeah, yeah, yeah. Know. No, I think it was like that type of thing. That sounds and then, grotesque. Uh, it was horrible. And then the guy was like, how is it? <laughs> Awful. No, like, it's, it's great to dip these chips into. <laughs> It's an excellent sauce. Nice, I wouldn't like it as It'd a be drink. a nice thing to like marinate chicken in and then <laughs> light on fire. <laughs> oh my god. No, this is absurd. Uh, but hey, I drank the whole thing like a champ. But I think I'm gonna go. I really do think I'm gonna go. To where? Brew? <laughs> Wait, what are you talking Margaritaville, about? Baby. Margaritaville. Well what it's now till the fifteenth? Uh, yeah. Also, you gotta love an ad that's now. <laughs> <laughs> show up, just show up. Because that means they did no pre promo. <laughs> like what promoted opening night? If it's if like if you're just like now, then it's like unless you timed it so this thing hits uh, newsstands. The... I'm sure they had an opening night advertisement. <laughs> opening night. I'm sure they did. And if that's the case, how fucking long is Margaritaville running? I just want to know. If an I ad want... that you've had in your pocket for a significant amount of time. Only three days. Okay. I like my... <laughs> I gave myself fucking, I I was clapping along to that song so hard after work. <laughs> no, because me and, I was talking to a co-worker of mine who's a musician. Yeah. And I was trying to break down how the claps in that song don't make any fucking sense. And, but it doesn't go along with the music or the words, really. <laughs> Like, it doesn't go along with anything. Like, I disagree. I like mine with, with lettuce, lettuce and, and tomato. tomato. That's how it goes, is it? and French fried tomatoes. I don't think it's doing that many. I think Listen it's... Listen to it. Fucking play it, bitch. Play it, bitch. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> no, it doesn't go along with anything. I've listened to this song like, like 50 this? times. I like mine with a set tomato. That's why they do it two times, because he does the whole clap thing, and then he just sings more. You ever do this? You ever do this one? You clap it with your cheeks. <laughs> It's hard to do with pants. That's Dan clapping his ass. It's hard to do with pants. No, you you, you like tat, you like clap your inner thigh. And it sounds like you're beating off. Now he's just doing both. 
I like riding a boat in the ocean. <laughs> riding a boat in a boat in the ocean. No, that song doesn't make any fucking sense. So what do you think? So somebody's getting into Buffy. I like mine with... Oh, well, that all makes sense. I don't know where I started. Yeah, as I said, that, that part makes perfect sense. The lettuce, tomato, no, but some delicious says, uh, French fried potato. When he says, he says, um, when I'm at port, I get what I need. Not zucchini, fettuccine, a burger, or weenie. And then the whole song is about wanting a cheeseburger. I think you're misunderstanding. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> no, doesn't he say a different thing? Or isn't the burger like a veggie burger? <laughs> he's like an impossible burger. He said he predicted impossible burgers. No, I know what I'm talking about. Do you think Jimmy Buffett is most into the riding boats on the ocean, hanging out at the beach, or uh, or? Uh, I picture him as more of a tiki bar I mean, fellow. Tiki, me too. That was my thing. Is like, because a boat a guy who's hanging out on the beach and guy who's in a boat, are two different guys. Oh yeah. Boat guy is uh, a real douche. Cheeseburger in paradise, paradise. You sing it, and then I'll do the backup part. At one point, he says, "Try to I'm amend my carnivorous habit." We made it nearly seven seventy days, days. losing <laughs> weight with that. Eric has stopped without, looking without, at the lyrics. Without speed eating, I don't even have a lot. <laughs> <laughs> without eating speed, without speed eating summer sunflower seeds. Living off of carrot no. juice and no, okay, close enough. <laughs> you got back on board. Keep going. Soaking up rays, but at night I, I have these wonderful <laughs> dreams. Some, Some kind of sensuous, sensuous treat. Yum. I had to that part. Not zucchini, fettuccine, fettuccine or bulgur wheat. What the fuck is bulgur wheat? Some seventies bullshit, man. Some health food seventies <laughs> bullshit. Wheat. <laughs> It sounds like burger or weenie. I would not pick that word. Imagine if you're... I would not pick that word. Imagine if you're like a huge Jimmy Buffett fan who also loves funny dinner. (laughs) And you're like, damn, they're singing it. And then we get to bulgur wheat and then cut right before the big chorus break. Burgle wheat comes from... Burgle wheat. Bulgur wheat. Whole grain kernels of wheat. This they is get bulgur. Parboiled and dried before packaging. As a result, they could cook much more que- quickly. <laughs> quickly. How about a <laughs> How about a big old piece of bread that you shaped into a pussy? It's vulgar weed. <laughs> That's vulgar weed. No, it's vulgar weed. It's weird that uh, the Wikipedia page for bulgur. Uh, let's just look at it. Look up bulgur on Wikipedia. I don't want to. <laughs> the first, the first sentence is very strange. Groats. <laughs> is that what you're talking about? It's like why is it? But it, I've never seen a word be so like Groats etymologized or bulgur. It's like, it's like Turkish right. bulgur, original Persian, Romanized bulgur, bulgar. It lit groats or burgal Arabic Romanized burgal is a like why is it why is all that shit there bulgur is healthier than rice it's uh, sometimes confused with cracked wheat we gotta get in bulgur I, I disagree with Jimmy Buffett I, I would live <laughs> yeah, I would like to have some bulgur <laughs> Warm beer and bread, the sick could raise the dead, but that reminds me of the menu at a holiday inn. You just doing that with Tiger Head? Yeah. So so he thinks at a holiday inn the menu is warm <laughs> beer and yeah, bread? I know, it's a very weird hotel. <laughs> yeah, like, what the fuck? <laughs> He's staying the Yorkshire <laughs> holiday inn. <laughs> Oh, mine was the old timey holiday in. Go be and bride, baby. It could wake the dead. It could wake up the grateful dead. They stayed here too, Jimmy. I like this man. This is kind of funny because this whole song is he's like, I'm sailing around the world. Yeah. Uh, but I'm fucking sick of Havanas and bananas yeah. and daiquiris. Not just, not just Havanas or bananas <laughs> and daiquiris. USA! I want that American USA. creation on which I feed! USA! <laughs> 
cheeseburger is very This song is just a guy being on a tropical vacation being like, I'm so fucking sick of jerk chicken and <laughs> I fucking plantains hate. and rice and beans. I fucking hate plantains, fucking red beans and rice, fuck that if shit. If I have fish one more day, I'm going to fucking freak Bro, out. Bro, can you like at least like cut the head off? I want a big ass burger, dude. I want a f- I'm tired of this. I know I did for the last time. I didn't say bulger. <laughs> it's Jimmy. It's Jimmy Buffett yelling and like some like Panamanian child on a beach. He's like on a beach town in Mexico. And that's like it's undeveloped. It's the seventies, yeah. man. And he's just in someone's ear going, "I like mine oh, with lettuce, lettuce and tomato." That's what he says to the server. Yeah, the, like serv- the server comes up and he's like. Hola, The server's amigo. just crying, writing that down on a piece of paper. Hola, mi amigo. Uh, you need uh, food? I like mine <laughs> with lettuce. <laughs> They're like, all right, cut him off. That guy's not even drinking his margaritas <laughs> with salt anymore. He's just licking the salt off. <laughs> He's just, no, the opposite. His buddy Dan's getting all the salt. <laughs> He's got... He's getting straight marred. Uh, hey, can I have another margarita? My kid licked all the salt off. There's also a weird point in what the What would song. you do if someone asked for that? If so, As a bartender, if someone's like, can you re-glass this with more salt? Because my son licked all the salt off when I was in the bathroom. I would. And much like my son, I also love salt. I would make a very disappointed face. To, to the son or to the mom? To the mother. And For raising the son. the son. I would look at both of them very disappointed. One eye then, each or two looks? Uh, I would go cross-eyed. <laughs> <One eye. laughs> or wide-eyed, I guess. Wide-eyed. <laughs> or cross-eyed. Then... Fuck it. Do the opposite <laughs> one. <laughs> uh, no, and then I would probably do it. I don't. I never give people fucking salt on their glass unless they ask for it. I'll be honest. Well, most drinks don't use it, so you're making the <laughs> right choice. <laughs> you're right. You know what? You're right. Statistically, can I have a bourbon and ginger? No salt on the rim. <laughs> Statistically, uh, did you ever do that as a bit? Because I have honestly done that as a bit. Can I have a bourbon before. and ginger on the rocks, not frozen? No salt on the. I've rim. done that as a bit as a customer and as a waiter, where like someone is like gin and tonic, and I'm like, do you want salt? <laughs> this guy's crazy. This guy's wacky. This guy needs his, his own a Comedy Central reality this show. This guy's wacky. This, this, guy needs, needs, this guy should be on Armed and Famous. This guy, get this guy a gun and a badge. <laughs> <laughs> a one-way ticket to Muncie. There's also a weird point where they go... where the cop... Jimmy Buffett should have been like the Sarge. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> have him behind a desk for no reason. There's... Um... There is a point where when they're, like, doing the training, the guard is like, now you're going to have a gun, and the only reason you use your gun is to kill someone. (laughs) (laughs) We're all going to go practice. I, got, I, I rounded a bunch of hobos from Anderson, Indiana. No idea of like, you know, like you hit him in the leg or the, <laughs> the shoulder. Try and get something that's non-lethal. No. If you have to pull the trigger, baby. Make, no, no making of dance. <laughs> yeah. No shooting at the ground and so they have to dance. None of that. Yeah. Don't shoot an apple off the top of their head. Well, that's dangerous. <laughs> I like the making them dance thing. That is fun. That's if I had a gun, I would do that, and then a guy would probably shoot me. Yeah, definitely <laughs> another shoot guy you. would shoot definitely me. Definitely another guy would shoot you. Because stop making people dance. You're <laughs> fucking up the floor. <laughs> These were hardwood floors. Oh. My girlfriend, my ex girlfriend, said that that she's moving, so our dog, their new place, hardwood floors. I said yeah. you should get him a rug. Get a rug. Yeah. And then she said, "Well, what will a toupee help with the floors?" <laughs> we will sure our dog would look cute in a toupee. That's <laughs> pompadour. You ever I'm thought like, about wearing a rug? <laughs> if I ever went bald, I would wear a wig. Yeah. I think it's a good look. <laughs> I think it's an underrated look. You're just borrowing your girlfriend's wigs. <laughs> we could trade. Yeah, you just have like a big pink bob. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. With glitter in it. Sure. Guys come and guys dollars. Come. Hey, different lady. 
No, I wasn't even talking about this, but I was just, I was just making a character profile. <laughs> I was just, uh, I was just, I was just I'm a collecting. director making the Eric Zorgel biopic. I was we collecting the... all of them into one character to make this into sort of more of a clean narrative. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Composite. <laughs> It's called art, man. No, I was at work, and uh, this... this uh, An apple didn't really fall on his head. He just loved apples. He just loved <laughs> apples, and something fell and on And the his director head. needed to fucking chew on his yeah, love of yeah, apples. Yeah, he's got to fucking figure out a way to get that apple thing that he won't shut up about. <laughs> yeah. So the real fans see the apple, and they're like, hell, this guy gets this it. This guy gets it. This guy gets it. But no, I was at work. Olive and, Garden's great. Go on, sorry, go on. I, I don't even understand what that has to do with anything. Oh, that sentence just came out of your mouth no. for literally no reason. No, there is a reason. <laughs> I can't. You're talking about Isaac Newton and the apple, and you just, there's a moment of silence, and you say, Olive Garden's great. Olive Garden's great. And then great. don't really continue. I get money. <laughs> I'll be honest, I don't get money. They just bring me the soup first. <laughs> when, you know, sometimes at restaurants, they bring out a big tray. And then before that, they'll lay, they'll put down the little tabletop thing. Yeah. So you can put the big tray on the table. Yeah. Uh, I was at this. You ever kick one of those out? No, but <laughs> I was at. Trying to put it down. I was at a, a, a Mexican restaurant in Orlando, Florida. And the person's bringing out, they got a big tray, so they bring out the thing, and then they go to get the tray, and then another server comes by and grabs the thing. <laughs> and then they come out with the big tray, and then we're like, what the fuck? And then do like a weird back into the kitchen. <laughs> and then get, then they got that other server to bring the tray out, and then they brought the big the thing. You can fucking do both of them. It was awesome. Jose, it was fuck great. you. No, no, they made him walk out and set out the table part, and then they act like they were like, "I'm not putting this down. <laughs> I'm not. This is not leaving my hands. <laughs> you go fucking put it down. You fix up what you. It was great because for a minute I felt like a, like a ghost or something because they're like, "Here's your food. Nothing. All right, well you're done. <laughs> we're done bringing you food. <laughs> oh I hope you like the illusion of food. Oh my god." No, I was at work, and there were these people who were excessively dumb yeah. sitting at the bar. And they they come in a little bit, pretty often, and they're very loud and very stupid. And, what do they order? Uh, I don't wait on them. I'm not a, bar, I'm not a bartender there. Uh -huh. But um, food, usually. Um, <laughs> <laughs> hey, you like your burger cooked on the grill? Another, <laughs> another round, please. <laughs> Um, but, uh, but yeah, there, and, uh, that one of the guys goes, uh, so what is it called when you get herpes on your mouth? <laughs> Whoa. He's not asking anyone. He's asking one of his friends. Yeah. You know? He's like, what do you, and the guy is like, I think it's, I think it's just herpes, you know? And the guy laughs because he realizes that's like the dumbest thing he's not, probably not the dumbest thing he's ever said. And then the guy who corrected him goes, yeah, but what's it called when you get like chlamydia on your mouth? <laughs> and then the woman who's not connected to these three people at all next to him turns around and goes, that's shingles. <laughs> what? <laughs> is any of this true? All of it is true. It's all verbatim. No, I mean medically. Oh, no. Of course it's not. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? No, shingles is not chlamydia on the mouth. Are you sure? <laughs> There's no fucking way. I'm gonna Google this. <laughs> These are the same people who I was like doing dishes in the sink, and uh, the one of them. I love this. Is shingles chlamydia? And then it auto completes to lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> Reddit, <laughs> and then song. The <laughs> so there must be a, there must be a tune, but also people have some questions. <laughs> People have similar questions to us. I'm searching lyrics. It's not giving me any song. Well. Is singles chlamydia? Shingle is, shingles. Is, is being single chlamydia. Is this single chlamydia? Because it's catchy. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> it's fucking, it's infecting me, pal. 
<laughs> it is not. No, shingles is different. Yes. I told you. I Okay. You're the one in here telling You said it. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you're the one, I can't even pull up the audio. I can't do it now because you have the file. Send me the file quick. <laughs> <laughs> but I was also standing there, and they were talking about cross-contamination in a kitchen. Yeah. And um, he's like, I used the... Uh, the the juice from defrosting the chicken to wash my hands. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, and then one guy goes, yeah, and you know, like you know, you're you touch some chicken, and then you open your refrigerator door, and now you got all that on the door. And the guy goes, oh no, I'm not worried about that. All that just falls off. It does. <laughs> You gotta get a slick one. He goes, all that just falls off. And I started laughing really, really hard. That's why my dad keeps knobs <laughs> greasy. <laughs> so that the germs can't hold on. Started, Everything's covered in grease. I started laughing really hard because that's like the dumbest thing I've heard in a really long time. Yeah. <laughs> and the guy goes, oh, are you, were you listening to us? And I was like, there's no way that's true, man. <laughs> there's just no way. There's no These way. guys are awesome. <laughs> This is like an impractical jokers, but for smart people. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, we send these three scientists <laughs> out to just say like, the dumbest shit in public. And see who breaks first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that should be one of the punishments, is like make someone like a bar back and then just put three loud, drunk idiots in front of Murr. Yeah. And just be like, his punishment is they're going to keep being completely morons until he laughs. No, the opposite. It's just like we're going to send four people out to be idiots loudly. <laughs> <laughs> just annoy everyone at a restaurant. That's also true, yeah. And whoever gives up first and quiets down is the loser until it's just uh, Joe sitting there Coleslaw is made from celery. <laughs> <laughs> Ask the server. No, sauerkraut. It's like... Uh... Ask the server. No, it's sauerkraut. It's uh, it's pickles and apples. What's the best question you've ever received as a server? Is uh, is your soup a liquid? No, I meant like I actually <laughs> legitimately meant the best, like the one you were most like. Wow, good question. <laughs> but is your soup a liquid? It's pretty good. But no, man, there's consomme. <laughs> I guess, but then I don't know. Um, Puzzle. I don't think I've ever been asked a good question. Yeah. I don't think so. What do you think of someone going, but between these two, what are your favorite? I give them the honest answer. Yeah. yeah. That's love, my move. I, I go, this one or this one? And then my girlfriend goes, why are you asking them that? And then I go, because who else am I going to ask? <laughs> I can't ask you. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. eaten here before? You've never been here to the fucking <laughs> West Virginia Shake Shack? No, my new move is, instead of going right into my spiel, is uh, I go, so y'all been here before? And usually one of them will go, like, I've been here, but they haven't. I hate when people ask me that. Well, you got to give them the spiel. It makes me think that, and that's what I'm saying. It makes me think that there's like a so whole you're thing. Curious, you're curious about the menu, but you don't want the menu explained to you. I what want. You're saying. I want. You want to know what's best on the menu, but you don't want to listen to someone tell you what. I that want is. there to is be. Is that what you're fucking telling me? I want there to be experts and informational placards scattered around the park. <laughs> but I don't want a tour guide. <laughs> I want to be able to go, hey, what kind of tree is this? <laughs> and someone will let me know. <laughs> but I don't, I don't need a hand holding. <laughs> I'm going to hold your hand. I'm a, I'm a hand holder. But no, my new move is when the with the one person who's like, I've been here, but they haven't. I go, so what are you going to tell them to get? That's a good one. And then they say this and this, and I go, those are all great. So have you explained to them how our bathrooms work? <laughs> so did you also <laughs> tell them where the bathroom is? Because I'm tired of answering <laughs> that question. Did you explain to them how the, bath, the toilets work? <laughs> the hand isn't supposed to wipe you. It's just there for decoration. <laughs> uh, I was scared the other day. I was pooping at a bar, and I was in yeah. there for too long. Yeah. Because then the auto lights started going off. Oh, I, I, yeah, at Kaiju, right? They yeah. Do, they get you at Kaiju. They, and they go off. There's three lights, and they go off like... In order of I know, like, it's scary. It, you feel like the, the wizard's coming to get you. It's very scary. I grabbed the plunger just out of safety. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, have you ever, when... Uh, that, I, that's great, though, because then someone eventually comes in, and they're peeing. Do you and, go, and thank then, you? 
And sometimes I do, but yesterday I didn't. And then I was just sitting there two days ago. I was just sitting there. And then they're like peeing and hanging out for a second. And then I just naturally made a sound. And then I could tell that they were like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> How long is that thing? I was sitting in the dark. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> you and me going pooping in the dark. Remember that one? Oh, I had one other thing. And then that, that'll be the one that'll take us home, maybe. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I did. Um, I did a very. I would hate to live uh, off of country roads. Take me home. Yeah, like, that's what I mean. It's like Contra it's like roads. no, dude. Preferably a main road near the exit yeah, of I, yeah. Ideally at the intersection of two major highways yeah, and like near like a gas station and like yes. a fast food place, like a Burger King yes. maybe. Like, Absolutely. That'd be cool. Like that. Take cool. me home. <laughs> <laughs> main <64. road. laughs> Preferably. On down to Main Street. <laughs> yeah. I want to be by downtown a grocery store. Ideally, <laughs> but all. So walkable near the food restaurants. Lion, <laughs> I want to be near a food lion. Food lion. Um, but no, I did um, last night. I got a weird someone, food lion butt. What someone, do you mean, like the rump roast? As you, it's weird that you mentioned butt because someone uh, gave me poppers. Oh. I've never done poppers. Have you ever done poppers? There's really no reason to be doing poppers. Yeah, I was about to say no. Someone was like, "That's like the equivalent of like you ever done alopecia medication." <laughs> <laughs> well, I was talking to them, and it really they makes just, your eyebrows tingle. I was talking to them, and they were like smoking a cigarette, and they were just doing them in front of yeah. me. I'm like, "What are you doing?" And he's like, "Poppers." I'm like, "That's forward." <laughs> poppers. Um, and he was like, "Do you want to try some?" And I was like, "No." And then he put it in his pocket, and I was like. Oh, thank God yeah. you put it in your I was, pocket. I was, like, I was like, yeah, actually, I do want to. I'll try it. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, what's it like? I was, and he was like, it makes you really uh, lightheaded and your face real red. I'm like, that sounds like the worst drug. No, it's great. That's what everyone wants. So red I, face and a headache. I did it. It sucked. I gave it back to him. And then uh, my girlfriend was like, so what are what are these for? And I was like, it's to loosen your asshole for gay sex. Yeah. And the guy got really mad and left. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't like that, that explanation. I don't know. Does he not think that's what they're for? I don't know. I mean, they're for other stuff, too, I what guess. What are they for? There's nothing else you can use just them getting for. Getting high, getting loose. It just makes you, like... People like them, but then also they are primarily. For that's that. really. I think that's ninety. In fact, the problem it's hard to overdose on poppers because the more you do them, you can't keep doing them. You're so loose. You're so loose. <laughs> you man, you can't like your mouth around. I it. remember doing it, being like, man, I wish I had to take a shit right now. I want to see oh, yeah. if this works. No, that would be incredible, <laughs> dude. They should do that. They should have people like take poppers when it's like a rectal exam. That's true. <laughs> You're just coming everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting a prostate exam coming in, busting, <laughs> dancing. The guy has to. You have headphones on and you're dancing. The guy has to change out like that roll for like the toilet paper they put yeah. down. He's like, Jesus, man, this shit ain't cheap. Can you quit busting? Uh, <laughs> it'd be really funny to walk out of a uh, uh, walk out of a doctor's office with that stuff uh, stuck on your shoe. <laughs> or you walk out of a doctor's office after that and you try and kiss the doctor <laughs> and try and give the doctor a kiss goodbye you don't do that after a rectal exam <laughs> well I forgot even the rectal exam part I just think it's a funny idea if every time you see a doctor they're like alright well we'll have the nurse come in and bring you the prescription and then uh, you're good to go and then they go on to a different office and then you put your clothes on and then you meet them in the in the new office and give them a little kiss by the way I'm leaving I just wanted to say goodbye bye officer Gregory Patak oh alright that's probably good enough this is a long one too whoa